Mariners for you. The container shipping industry in 2021. Did you know 90% of world trade is transported by ships? In 2019, more than 11 billion tons of goods were shipped across the oceans. Economically, that is about $4 trillion annually. However, in the last year, many factors impacted this big industry and brought many global challenges. If any problem occurs in just one port, that will affect the seaports worldwide. The whole chain supply will be affected. In March of 2021, we saw this situation when a mega vessel stuck and blocked the Suez Canal for six days. All the ships behind it had to wait or had to take the way all around Africa. Indeed, this has caused a big delay and caused loss for many companies. One of the reasons for those accidents is that the container ships have become very large. In 1956, when the first version was launched, it could carry only 58 TEUs, that is, 58 containers. But nowadays, there are massive container ships that can hold nearly 24,000 TEUs. Although a larger vessel seems to be an advantage, there have been many accidents in the last years, containers falling into the ocean, or even worse, shipwrecks. This has led many companies to decide about utilizing smaller ships, about 12,000 containers. Other problems are tariffs and trade policies, which are constantly increasing, pushing the companies to front-loading, which means bringing unnecessary volumes of products to avoid paying the future new tariffs. And so, we get overloaded ports. But one of the biggest problems has been the COVID-19 pandemic which is causing many workers to go home. Then, due to the absence of workers, every process in the supply chain suffers many delays. If we add to this the typhoons and any natural disaster, the delays could be even more. Therefore, the consequence is clear. The shipping rates are going up from 4 to 10 times more. For more video about container terminals and container ships, Subscribe the Mariners for You YouTube channel. Thank for watching Mariners for You. See you soon.